guys, it is Lola Lexi here, and as you can see, I am driving. I have my little sunglasses on, and we are now leaving Marion, Indiana, and going to Allendale, Michigan to pick up my Zach. And so, arrival time is 2.17. It is right now, let me look, let me look, let me look, 10.50. So I got a little bit of a drive ahead of me. I am sadly by myself because a lot of people like to ditch me. But it's okay. I'm going to hopefully not freak out this ride and enjoy it and then get Zach and then you'll meet Zach and then come back to Indiana so he can meet my mom and my grandma. And then after that, we will be heading to Texas, but I will be taking you guys along with me to Michigan if I find something cool or just along the road, I will definitely show you, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this little trip with me. I'm glad I could take you guys along, but I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we are still driving. We've gone about 100 miles, been about an hour now. Got 63 more miles until I am on the exit for Michigan. But you remember how it was really sunny and really nice? Well, that's what this turned into as I'm going further north. And I'm hoping like roads don't get bad or anything because then I'm gonna have to like freak out a little bit. So far, so good. I've been doing pretty well, haven't had really any scares. It is pretty windy though, so like pretty much having both hands on the wheel at all times, except for right now, which is an exception. Look, there's a semi, hi semi, oh dear, please stay over there, I don't like semis. I am driving in the fast lane because little Max is fast. Max did get washed, but now that we're in this, I have a feeling he's gonna get dirty again. So before we go to Texas, he might have to go through the car wash once again. But, ooh, look, Waterloo. I don't know what Waterloo is, but it's in a half a mile. I have no idea where I am. I think I'm close to Angola or Auburn, one of the two. I know it starts with an A in uh, Indiana. But I am getting closer. If I find anything cool, I will show you. But if not, then I will see you guys in a little bit. So this car next to me has like everything duct taped onto it. And I slowed down just to show you this. And the back of it says, if you can't fix it with duct tape, you, hang on, I gotta catch back up too, because I can't read the box. Go, go, go. Hang on, what's that say? Oh, I about dropped you. You haven't used enough. If you can't fix it with duct tape, you haven't used enough. And obviously, that's what this car, and I guess that's its motto. But, yep, still driving. Just thought I'd show you that. Okay, see you, see, see you soon, guys. See ya, it's getting, it's getting snowy. Point two miles. Hello. Keep left on ramp to I-94 West. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, we went around a circle back. All right, guys, so we are about five minutes away from Zach's house. I'm looking for a gas station so I can stop and get some gas before, like, we go, and I just found one, so, and I have to really, really have to pee. So, sorry, sir, I'm going to switch over to this light, and then I'm going to go to the gas station. So, we're about five minutes away from Zach's, and I can't wait. It's Zach. Yay. Oh my goodness, here we go. I gotta catch up to it. I like, guess this is the coolest thing. It's like all graffitied out. Look at all the billboards. 
Oh, look! Oh, three miles! I can get gas! Yes! Yes! All those little white tri- or triangles. <laughs> Fucking rectangles. <laughs> there, those are billboards. There's that of them. I don't have any car buddies. Zach. What? I don't have any car buddies. <laughs> Sorry. You need a car buddy. Oh. We're somewhere in Illinois. I don't know where. Oh, that's a scary ass billboard. I'm oh, you, can't even freaking, you can't even freaking see it on here. That sucks. Oh, you can, but you can see that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, stay on the road. I'm trying. Car buddy, look. Hello. This guy's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> too many billboards. Too, too many billboards. <laughs> Okay, how come every time, every other place that we like entered had two signs? And now that we're in Texas, the one that I actually want to have a like view of, there is another one. Well, there's a Houston sign in two miles. Go ahead and take these. My deck. <laughs> officially in Texas. We are at the hotel, which is super nice, by the way. Um, it's one of the Hampton Inns down here in Austin, Texas. And basically, like, the room that we have, it was, it's like $227. Uh, it's it's a, like uh, $99 for two, for a night, and we I have it for two. So it's really nice, though. It's really pretty, freaking, like, it's seriously gorgeous. But um, we did make it. It is five something now, which in your guys' time back up north, it's six or seven. It's almost, I think it's almost six here, so it's almost seven there. Or it is six here. I don't know. I don't remember. I left my phone upstairs. But um, I came outside because it is really nice out. I'm kind of cold because it's like, it was 72 when we got here, but it, the sun is going down, so it's probably like 70, 69, but it is so nice. Like, I freak, I love it here. I don't want to leave, but that journey was so crazy. I drove straight through, so I got up at six yesterday morning, and I've been up. I I have I haven't been asleep yet. There was a few times where like I was driving, and got really scared because I I was falling asleep, and that wasn't good. Um, so I had to get a five hour energy. So I drank that. Had some monsters, some pop. And it, it ended up waking me up, and we got here safely. Max did get washed, but now he's a dirty hooker again, because when I drove to Michigan to pick up Zach, the roads were snowy. Like, it wasn't snowing. Well, it was, it was kind of a, not really, you saw it. But yeah, so he got dirty again, but 
eh. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are here. Um, the next thing that you guys will most likely see, like, because I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go to sleep now. Um, Zach kind of slept on the way. Zach didn't really, that, he doesn't want to be on camera, which I don't really care. But, um, so yeah, pretty much he's just gonna go to sleep. I'm not gonna go to sleep until it's dark yet, and that's another thing. There's only one bed in the room, so I don't know where, or who's, <laughs> I don't know who's sleeping on the floor. I don't really want to be the person on the floor, but I guess if I have to, I will. I brought my Daryl blanket from The Walking Dead, my Walking Dead blanket. So yeah, um, there's people watching me, but I might, well, I am going to, so I'm going to walk around and I will take you guys with me. So just give me one second. So here's the hotel that we're staying at. Very pretty. It's got a pool over here. Uh, there's people, so I'm just going to walk around this way and kind of like I won't show them to you. And but I'm not going to talk when I'm by them. So hang on. This is where we came in from the road. Um, uh, you can see, like, way back there, one of the, like, that thing is probably a mile away. Like, it, the, uh, like, the ramp that you see, like, the on ramps and things back there. The, those are seriously about a mile away, and that is how high up they are. It is ridiculous. They're, like, four stories tall and freaking so high up in the air, and it is scary. But this is kind of like what we get to view. Um, our room is along the back there, so all we can see is that parking lot right over there where people are parking and out here, like towards the road, so I can see, like, watch people when they drive by and stuff. But that's the view. There's, like, some houses or apartments or whatever back there. But that's pretty, pretty much it. I mean, I hear some bugs. I haven't heard of bugs in forever. It seems like oh, it's, oh no, it's not bugs. It's the wind blowing the like flowers and stuff. This is really cool. Like um, we walked over to Olive Garden, which is like over that way. You can might be able to see the sign by the uh, gas station. And there's like palm leaf trees, flower things, and they're really cool. Sorry, I had to hit my cigarette. But um, but that's pretty much our view for the evening night. Like I said, we're probably just going to sleep as much as we possibly can. But um, as we walk back here, um, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, I don't know if we're doing anything like during the day. Probably just get ready for tomorrow evening, which is the Let's Play Live. The door is open at 6.30. So that's when I will start recording. Like you'll be with me the whole step of the way, showing you parts of the show. Hopefully I get to meet some of the cast members, not all of the cast members. But yeah. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. We're just going to that, and then Sunday, like, coming home, or home, coming, oh, there's a roly-poly, there's a roly-poly down there, but, um, see my keys blowing in the breeze, but, um, after we get done at the Let's Play Live on Saturday, we're coming back to the hotel, sleeping until early Sunday morning, and then leaving to drive back home, and I'm going to have to drive to Michigan from Texas to take him home. And I'm not looking forward to that because it was in about a 29 hour drive straight through last night. And I don't want to do that again. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the the uh, journey so far. I know I am. So I will see you guys whenever something cool happens. Okay, bye. Alright guys, well you might be wondering where's all the stuff from the Let's Play Live event. Well guess what? We didn't get to go because I thought the whole time that the 20th was Saturday and it was Friday so while we were sitting in our hotel room doing absolutely nothing on Friday night the let's play live event was going on and I had no idea so it is now Sunday uh, about 10 30 a.m. I just dropped Zach off three miles. probably Turn never going to hang out with him again because it was not enjoyable I'm going to basically go home maybe find something to do I don't know I haven't slept since 6 a.m. yesterday morning, 
I'm tired. I'm not Very happy with things. Horse I'm not tired of this freaking GPS, but let's just say I'm not happy. I wasted about $500. I spent my whole entire tax check, put 2,000 unnecessary miles on my car just to miss the freaking event. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the little pointless road trip that we went on. Maybe next year we'll actually get dates right and get to Five miss 5. it. 5.8 miles on I'm very street. tired of her. But hope you guys did enjoy the little journey. I'm sorry that I'm stupid and don't know how to read a calendar. But I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I look ratchet. I'm going to go home and sleep and shower. Shower and then sleep. And yep. Yeah. So I love your faces.